Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have a package from Card Mechanic. Now you may have seen me on a podcast with Card Mechanic. This was back in November. We had a really good chat. And today we're going to be taking a look at Card Mechanic's first ever deck of playing cards. So these are the Canis Lupus playing cards. We're going to unbox them today and we're going to go through a little deck review as well. If you're interested in this deck, you can get it from a few places. If you're in the United Kingdom or Europe, you can get it from the card in, it's on our website. However, if you're from the US or Canada, you can get them from Card Mechanic yourself and there'll be a link in the bio down below. That being said, let's open the decks. Right, let's take a look. We've got the Candice Lupus uh, logo with, uh, with some branded tape, which looks really good, big fan of that. Inside, looks like we've got a little bit of uh, custom custom wrapping as well. Nice purple tissue paper to, to match the deck of cards. Oh, cool. We've got ourselves, we got ourselves some brick boxes, which is uh, a nice surprise as well. So the Canis Lupus, this is the Alpha Edition. So it looks like there might be some more decks on the way as well. Look at that. So let's go ahead and see the decks inside. So this is it, Canis Lupus Alpha Edition. It has a really nice purple, purple color, purpley blue. So a minimal design. You see this design on the back of the tuck. That is the design of the playing cards as well. Got a few uh, extra sort of details. So a little quote, the strength of the wolf is in the pack, which is a really nice quote. We've got ourselves a little diamond on the top. Uh, this pattern is repeated. Canis Lupus Alpha Edition, produced by Vanit, and USPCC made as well. So let's go ahead and open. Here we go. So the tuck case, as you can see, it seems to be quite glossy. So it's looking like it's looking like a really uh, nice tuck case. Here is the back up close. That's it. Let's go sh straight into the cards. We've got another quote this time. It's a different quote. A wolf doesn't concern itself with the opinions of sheep. I really like that quote. I agree with that quote as well. It's a really nice, it's a really good message. And here we go. Let's go back design to begin with. Nice and clean, vibrant colors and that cool design. It's like a chess piece. So if you do, I think there's not enough decks that have a purple color. So, you know, I like that Vanit has gone with this color. Definitely needs to be a few more decks that have this sort of colorway. So let's get straight into uh, the phase cards. And how about this for a joker? We have this wolf design on uh, a chess piece. We've got a V on the on the joker as well. Um, I just I really like that this is like an like a like a draw like a real drawing. And you know that obviously different to the back design, but you know this the detail the level of detail in this joker design uh, is really great. I think you know sometimes jokers can be sort of overlooked but to get a joker with this sort of illustration this kind of detail i'm a big fan of it uh, it looks like we have duplicate jokers as well oh hang on no we don't as you can see right here we actually have a reveal uh, a quite a subtle reveal a two of spades reveal ace of spades you do have to like a customized ace of spades we've got a canis lupus uh, chess piece with some copy underneath it big fan of that and let's go into uh, the face cards. To begin with, they're pretty standard. However, there are a little bit of customizations, as we will see. Because when you get to the court cards, uh, we have a bit of custom colors to sort of match the back design. So you can see the sort of purples. Um, this is Vanit himself. Vanit, a.k.a. Car Mechanic. Uh, but here's a nice little touch. The hearts and the diamonds have this purple that match for back design so it is they are standard in um design 
but color is purple. So you can still obviously use this for card games, magic. So yeah, very magic and gameplay friendly, just to change the colors. But sometimes just changing the colors is all you need to sort of make, give it that sort of, give it that edge, give it that custom, that custom edge. So some nice, some real nice little touches. Let's see our additional cards. It looks like we've got an additional uh, King of Diamonds. And <laughs> the King of Diamonds is holding a diamond. So I'll just show you uh, the other King of Diamonds. Not holding anything. Um, and now he is holding a diamond. One more additional card. Um, an Alpha Wolf can be violent and assertive when a situation calls for it. But for the most part, it leads with strength, metal and heart. So this deck is also a print run of 1000, so they are they are limited. I know Vanita has got many of these for himself, uh, and I don't blame him. Obviously, your first deck of cards is always going to feel really special. I'll just show you guys a little bit of what this looks like in action with my less than mediocre cardistry. But, you know, look, I mean, the, the colour is what does it for me. Obviously, you've got your intricate designs, but then you've got minimal as well. I mean, just because a deck of cards is not intricate in, in its design doesn't mean it's not a good deck of cards. The actual design itself has some nice little details to it, but the fact that they're... I like that also it's not just, you know, we see a lot of ref, um, mirrored designs where you've sort of got a logo on the top, a logo at the bottom, but, you know, these have sort of taken this diagonal approach to the design, and it's, and it's enlarged as well, so... I think this is, this is a really good deck of cards. The design and the, the colour as well. Really, really nice. And I'm looking forward to see what Vinique comes up with next for his next cards. So like I said before in the beginning of the video, if you do like this deck of cards, if you're from the UK or Europe, you can get it straight from the card in. But if you're from the USA or Canada, you can get it off Card Mechanic yourself. So great job to Vinique, aka Card Mechanic, for the Canis Lucas playing cards. Really great deck. Fantastic. Minimal design. Fantastic for gameplay, for magicians, and for a bit of cardistry as well. Links down below in the description if you want to get it. If you're from the US or from the UK, you can get it from Cobb Mechanic himself, or you can get it from the card in too. Other than that, Orbit V8 just dropped in store. So if you're an Orbit fan, you can pick up some of the decks. Parallel was sold out, but the Aesop Rock, or I'm not actually, I'm not actually entirely sure who how to say it or who the club is, but um, the collaboration deck that is on the way in a few weeks um, depending on when this video is uploaded OPC roasters will be on the site already or they'll be in on the site in the coming days so thanks for watching if you like this kind of content please subscribe give it a like it's really helpful to the channel and until next time I'll catch you guys later on